Today we're going to explore aniracetam. Aniracetam is a nootropic, a class of cognitive enhancing supplements that have gained popularity in recent years to achieve improved cognitive performance. It was first developed in the 1970s by a Belgian pharmaceutical company called Ciba Gagey. Aniracetam is structurally related to piracetam, another well-known nootropic, but it's considered more potent and fast-acting. It belongs to the racetam family of compounds and is fat soluble, which means it's best taken with meals or healthy fats for better absorption. The key characteristic of racetams is their ability to influence and modulate certain neurotransmitters and receptors in the brain, particularly those related to memory, learning and cognitive function. They're believed to enhance brain health by promoting communication between neurons, improving synaptic plasticity and in increasing blood flow to the brain. Some well-known racetams beside paracetam and aniracetam include oxyracetam, which is known for its potential to enhance memory and focus and is considered more stimulating than paracetam. Pramiracetam, which is often regarded as the most potent of racetams and is associated with improved memory and cognitive performance. Phenylparacetam, which is notable for its stimulant properties and potential cognitive benefits. It's also considered to have adaptogenic properties. And coiuracetam, which is under investigation for potential anti-anxiety and memory enhancing effects. While each racetam may have slightly different effects and potencies, they all share the common goal of supporting cognitive function and promoting brain health. Now, let's explore the benefits of aniracetam. Numerous users claim that it helps improve memory, learning capacity, focus, and overall cognitive performance. Some enthusiasts also report experiencing enhanced creativity and verbal fluency. Aniracetam is believed to work by modulating certain neurotransmitters in the brain, such as acetylcholine and dopamine. This modulation is thought to support better synaptic plasticity, leading to improved learning and memory retention. So that's how aniracetam works in theory, but what about in practice? Here's what the actual clinical studies performed on aniracetam show. A 2012 study titled Clinical Efficacy of Aniracetam, either as monotherapy or combined with cholinesterase inhibitors in patients with cognitive impairment, a comparative open study, looked at the way aniracetam and cholinesterase inhibitors, which are compounds that actively prevent the breakdown of neurologically beneficial acetylcholine in the brain, thus increasing brain levels of acetylcholine, compared combating the effects of dementia. The comparison between aniracetam and cholinesterase inhibitors in patients with rel relatively mild dementia revealed a significantly better cognitive performance with aniracetam at six months and improved functionality at three months. Comparing aniracetam monotherapy with combined treatment in the same population, aniracetam performed better in the cognitive scale at six months and displayed a notable tendency for enhanced mood at 12 months and improved functionality at six months. An earlier study in 2006 found that aniracetam has a strong neuroprotective effect against H2O2 induced toxicity, which could partly explain the mechanism of its clinical application in neurodegenerative diseases. There are also more negative results shown in other studies, such as the rather self-explanatory study titled Aniracetam Does Not Improve Working Memory in Neurological Healthy Pigeons. This study attempted to address the concern that most evidence surrounding aniracetam performance was based on neurologically impaired study subjects and not neurologi neurologically healthy ones. So whilst the study owners acknowledged the positive results seen in studies featuring neurologically impaired participants, they wanted to see whether it actually enhanced cognitive performance for individuals who were not originally impaired. And in the context of pigeons, which, to point out the obvious, do not carry the same neurological complexities as a human brain, this study showed aniracetam did not enhance working memory in neurological healthy subjects. A similar study was also conducted several years prior to this one using mice as a subject that displayed similar results. No noticeable improvement in cognitive performance amongst cognitively healthy subjects. It's also cautionary to note that aniracetam was actually featured in a study regarding nootropic supplement contamination, which took over-the-counter nootropics and tested them for undeclared, unapproved pharmaceutical ingredients. The study found that out of the 10 products tested, 75% of them did not contain the strength of ingredients specified on the label, 
they were either significantly higher, sometimes up to four times the recommended dosages and therefore dangerous, or they were significantly lower and therefore ineffective. And also that many contained other unapproved pharmaceutical compounds. One particularly notable finding was Phenibut, which is a powerful synthetic pharmaceutical nootropic known to present a high risk for dependency and addiction. It's not just nootropic supplements that are at risk from this sort of often deliberate contamination, but it's a particularly problematic supplement category for this type of tampering. So you have to exercise even more care than usual when selecting the brand of the product that you're looking to try. This is one of the reasons we partner with our video sponsor, Verifier Lab. Here's a quick clip explaining what they do and how they can help you avoid supplements that can cause more harm than good. This video is sponsored by Verifier Lab. Did you know that a recent study across various food supplements found that over 31% were contaminated by highly damaging or illegal substances, that 51% didn't adequately break down to allow the body to actually absorb the active ingredients, and that over 46% were not accurately labelled. In some instances, they contained no active ingredients. That's zero milligrams of whatever strength they were advertising on the front of the label, zero. Verify Lab, a food supplement verification specialist, bringing safety and transparency to the food supplement industry to help you separate the bad brands from the good brands. Just send them a sample of the supplement that you take, tell them what you'd like them to check for. It could be to confirm the supplement's strength, the core ingredient, to check for damaging contaminants, for microbial agents, allergens, almost anything. And you'll get your lab results emailed back within seven days to tell you what you want to know about your supplement. Check them out at verifierlab.com and use the code UNCOVERED for 30% off your first order. Now back to the video. In conclusion then, the scientific evidence points firmly to the fact that aniracetam can be highly beneficial and protective for people with neurodegenerative diseases such as dementia and Parkinson's. But for those neurologically healthy individuals looking to simply amplify their baseline neurological function, it's far more speculative. With evidence pointing to the fact that this doesn't provide any benefit to these individuals, at least this is proven in animal models, but not yet in human ones. So there's still a question mark in this regard. So there you have it. Now you know more about the scientific benefits of aniracetam supplements. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please go ahead and hit the like button and don't forget to also subscribe so you can receive more health and wellness content from us. Thanks for watching.